Welcome back everyone, this is Cyber Neuro Druid playing the last scenario of part one of Invasion from the Unknown, Strike on Hearthgar. We're in turn two, there are a lot of enemies, and our job now is to not die. So... Now it's tempting, as I've said before, um, to try and basically just rush the uh, to rush the enemy, um, especially over here where it doesn't look like they have an awful lot of particularly strong units. Um, I don't have enough units. I, I mean, Alinea can get in there right now, but um, I think she'll get shredded if she tries that. So instead, I am going to head that way with a bunch of units, um, weaker units, and just hope. I can maybe pull it off. It's entirely possible I can get most of these guys to suicide themselves on Malkashar this turn, so I am going to try that. Guys, go and join the party, and I want everyone down here. Ah, Althrin, I think I forgot to move you last turn. Well, what I would like you to do is help with his defense on the southern side, because the purple leader looks like he doesn't got this. He's uh, not exactly recruiting defensively. Galas, meanwhile, your job. Gonna add in some Dark Adepts and some Ghosts to help with the fight over here. Otherwise, though, more skeleton archers. A few, a few more skeletons. Good, I think, to have a healer. Or maybe a leadership unit. So I'm going to recall my Death Knight. To join the bush. And a Night Gaunt, because I might try and get a snipe or two. I've only got the one night gone, haven't I? Yeah. Okay, you might be handy. Down here, uh, I'm going to have another couple of skeleton archers who are going to head gradually towards that southern flank. And I think that's enough for now. Uh, everyone moved? Good. This scenario is going to involve a lot of watching the allies and the enemies move. Blue is out of money already. Green does not seem to be strapped for cash at all. Purple's out of money. Okay, 
brown approaches. And now let's see what happens. Oh no, not yet. Okay. Orange. is not having a good day and has run out of money already. a suggestion. Using the corpses of the Fallen as a barrier could delay our enemies enough to let our best warriors do their duty from safe positions. The idea sickens me. Many of the corpses will be those of our kinsmen, but I have to admit it's an option. Alright. Blue's forces... Teal, sorry. Teal's forces are not letting up. And Malkeshar is in a position. Should, what do I want to do here? I can keep pushing for a turn or two. Try and get rid of this this leader. All right. First things first. Need to get rid of this guy. <laughs> Okay, now can a bat take out this guy? Just about, yes. Alright, now... This is over to Malkeshar, and if I can get him standing on... this house... people aren't quite fast enough to to be useful. Elinia is though. And if she goes into there, then maybe I can hold up on this side. Bat down here to block things off. You advance, you advance, you advance, you advance. Now, the main thing I have to worry about is if everyone actually suicides on Malkashar, he might get taken out. I want to send some units this way to stall White from getting annihilated. And then just more spam, more spam. Well, Malkashar's suggestion is not crazy, but I've got so much money that I might as well hire slightly better level 1 units. Luna 
not exactly building a unified defensive front here. buggies. Unfortunately, the AI is very bad at using these buggies, um, especially defensively. They always just run out and attack the enemies that they can see. A fantastic unit when your enemies have control of them, if it's an enemy AI. An absolutely terrible unit when you have it, or when your AI <laughs> allies has it, is even worse. Still, this enemy can blunt the force of its own assault a bit by doing that. Obviously, I'm most interested to see what Teal's going to do. Unit, running him right out there in front like that. Oh, they're dead keen to get rid of the uh, the bats. How much money do you have? It's looking ropey for Malkashar, but on the plus side, it does seem like um, Teal might actually have run out of money, which is really something. Okay, how best to do this? Um, my leadership unit can't quite get to where it needs to be, so... Actually, no one can really get to where they need to be right now. So now I'm going to pull back with this bat, just a tad, so that Anlinde can use her mighty attack. Clear a path. Excellent. Linear, you are going to stand here. Oh, you're a speedy one. Malkishar, unfortunately, you're going to have to run away, I think. Or else. Hmm. Worth it or not worth it? I don't know.
just looking for an opportunity to get this beautiful night, night gaunt into position where it can really deal some damage. And I don't think I've got one, unfortunately. I don't want it to go next to anyone who's... I mean, it, it has to, it's basically, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a glass cannon. Now I've got enough units that these guys can push forward, so... You, I think, your best bet is to go into the foliage and... Well, hmm, I don't know. No, your best bet is to come up here so that Alinea doesn't die. You, you then go there, and then you come and get that attack bonus. <laughs> nice. Don't yet quite know what to do with you. One way or another, you'll have to come around here, I think. So I'll put you there for now. You come up and attack here. That uh, was less good. Okay. Dark Adept, unfortunately. Well, wait. Is that a waste of you? Yeah, it is, because if you get one hit, you'll kill it. Like that! Gonna put you here. Again, you're a bit of a sacrificial one in this instance. And you push forward, and you push forward. You run up here and distract Brown. And you can distract Brown as well. Shah really needs to run away because otherwise he will die next turn. I'm only now a little bit worried that he's gonna he's gonna be vulnerable. So I'm gonna move some more units up here to try and distract the AI. Are there any skirmishes? Yeah, there is one. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I can quite protect Malkashar. I should have thought that out a little bit better. Okay, white player. Um, I'm calling it. I'm stealing your resources. I can defend against the white player. I can defend against the... Um, against this player later. Going on down here. I wanted you to get that house, and you can. We've got some enemies. Can I reach the enemies? No, not quite. I can get close. I'll move up to here in case anyone really wants to press forward. They can go in this area of light. So now I'm starting to run out of money, so I can't keep this up indefinitely. I perhaps best get some tougher troops behind this. Nice. 
Also nice. That one's less intelligence. Ah, those bikes are so useless. Okay, Blue's coming out to help on the northern flank, that's nice. Come on, old circuit. You can do it, yes. Okay, the white player is absolutely toast, man. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> Sad. Action seems to be working at least. Don't know why a player would choose to do that. Alright, let's see what Teal can do with the last of its resources and troops. Oh no, I wish I was thinking that Teal's gonna be sooner than he is. I like that rope bridge, that's cool. It's got a dog on it. Oh, damn dog. Okay, last standard white player, not bad. Okay, so, Teal has managed to, I don't think this was the intention, but Teal has got themselves into a pretty decent defensive position here. I can bring up my Death Knight. I do need to escape from this situation once, I, once I've defeated Teal. So I think... I want you to come and try and clear out this guy down here. Good, there we go. Who's best against... I forget who's best against these guys. They're very resistant to everything actually. The, the thing they're not in, resistant to is impact but I don't have a lot of troops that can deal that in this area of the map. So 
So I think just the big arcane damage attacks are the ones that I need to go for. Ah, the placement, the ordering, ah, it's also complicated. Okay. The plan is for Malkashar to come down here. And if you can clear out this guy. Good. Now you. Ah, oh, Arcane is so ineffective against these guys. Could be worse though, I guess. So it, if it hits, yeah, it, it does it does suggest that attack rather than the other one, and I will go with it. Good. Now you need to hit twice with ensnare to take this guy out. Now. You still can't quite get anywhere useful. Maybe it's best that you start reinforcing this flank. You might end up sacrificing yourself, but if so, that's fine. My ultimate objective here is to take out the leader. Oh, you're still alive. Fine. Night Gorn time. We'd need two hits for this. And I could lose my Night Gorn quite easily, but I do think it's worth it if I can take out a leader at this stage. Alright, fingers crossed. Oh yes! Your efforts are in vain! You're just delaying the inevitable! Normally when I try and do crazy things like this, it doesn't work. <laughs> For now, the trick will be, um, I desperately, desperately need to keep my troops on this flank alive. I'm not going to attack with you, I'm just going to put you there. Because Alinea is going to take some big hits next turn, and there's not much I can do about that. You though... Actually, similarly, I can bring you around. They're probably going to go for the Nightgorns in the first in the first instance. Oh no, there's a dog, there's a dog. Uh, I hate those dogs so much. Okay, well, let's try and deal some big, big damage up here. Not, not likely to hit. More likely to hit. Okay. Do you go back and get some health? Okay. Want to take out? This warrior. Yes. Now, how easily defending are you? <sighs> okay. Skeletons against automata. This is this is not going to end well. Uh, retreat. There's most of most of the enemy's army here consists of units that deal damage that is absolutely lethal to skeletons. So I don't know whether to just sacrifice these guys or to send them back.
Demons are quite useful against skeleton archers. Probably shouldn't even be trying to do this. Yeah, it just seems like a waste. I'll we'll bring you out here. No, it's not, it's not even a good spot to defend on. So you move up this way to help support when that's needed. Same with you. And you two need to head south. I am unsure what to do with these guys. I think actually the best thing to do with them would be to put them put them in the turret so they just slow the enemy down. Same with you in this in this house. Over here. Okay, there are enemies within range now. Good job. Who do I recruit with basically what is the last of my gold? I should probably get at least some tough elves. I think to fight off what's coming on this flank, that might be the best bet. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a healer one way or another. So Sophinia, you're reliable in that respect. Um, Spectres can shred almost anything. I've got plenty of them, so... A few of you... What about my Elvish Marshal, who's got the Berserk ability? Seems like you'd be a handy one to have, especially if I'm looking after level 1 units. Some Wraiths... I said I was going to recruit elves. <laughs> I'm mostly just recruiting vectors and raids, but uh, such is the way. Um, okay, I've got. A, I'm, I'm losing a lot of gold now. I might actually shift over to Malkeshar's suggestion of uh, going with the walking corpses. Okay, and I'm going to be out of income very shortly. Can you do anything useful? Um, no, I think it's best if you stay where you are. Maybe you, you just... Yeah, you stay where you are. Alright, let's see what happens now. Famous last words. Nice. This is looking pretty hopeless.
I wish I had some dwarvish ironclads. They are so tough. You can see this one dealing absolutely insane damage to all of the automata around. <laughs> Okay, Purple seems determined to throw away his troops as well. Automata have actually been beefed up a bit since, uh, since I last played this campaign. I don't remember them being that hard to destroy. dogs. You did your job. You could have survived that, but it was close. Anyway, time for a full-scale tactical retreat of my powerful units. Malkesha, you run down here. Delinea, you can run as well. And I'm going to need you nearby to heal them. And everyone else should really press forward. What can you do? You, you're going to die, and you're poisoned, so you can attack this invader. <laughs> you also should run. dog. Seems like I'm winning the battle on this flank, uh, even if over here it's not looking great right now. Um, Brown doesn't have many units left, but I know that in this scenario there will be reinforcements. Oh, 
more ghosts, more bats. Sad that you can't quite do anything yet. Now if I retreat, if I lose this camp, it will make it very difficult for me to recruit. Unless I move all the way up to this camp, um, but then I won't be able to protect King Asthorgar. I mean, now I'm wondering, maybe the smarter strategy up here would have been to press forward, try and eliminate all the remaining troops, but, uh, well, it's too late for that now. Especially if you're next to someone who's got leadership. That could be nasty. Alright, you slow these guys down by going and killing this mud crawler. Similarly, you jump onto that house. That should slow everyone down on this side. Do any, does anyone need a healer over here? Not really. We're on forwards. You run backwards. This is tempting. I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Can one of my wraiths get in there? Yes, they can. I'll use the slightly weaker one just in case it gets killed. Very nice. Oh. If I had a little bit more time and mojo, I could press forward towards this guy with the shield. I might as well get some more healing up here too. Okay, time for three more corpses. With the last of my gold, and until I get some more casualties, it's not going to be easy for me to do anything else. So, I think I, did, I didn't, didn't really move these units forward properly, so I'll try and remedy that now. This guy amazingly is still alive, um, it's, and he's getting experience. It's, it's quite tempting to, to leave him there and see what happens. But actually, I think it's going to need. I'm going to need to play this defensively. And even if I do play it defensively, it's going to be tricky. Have I already fouled up my chances in the southern half? I wonder. I want to kill this guy because this guy's close to a level. Don't think that's a possibility right now, though. So I think the slowing strategy is still the right one, but I can do it, try and do it with this one and try and make sure that this one survives. Oh, none of them are fast enough to reach. Already has improved my income situation a bit. Gallas! Maybe I'll need you down south. Not like you're going to be able to hire anything soon. Alright.
skeletons forming respectively up here. Slowing people down. Oh, yes. Oh, no. can defend pretty well. Alright, there's clearly a little bit more money coming in for each team, but not very much. from Teal are proving to be an utter pain in the ass. <laughs> Need to get rid of them as soon as I can. But on the whole I think I'm basically I'm gonna need you do that. Yes. I'm gonna need to move south. Still not going to attack with you, just going to leave you in a slightly better defensive position. And you'll still get zapped, I think, by this guy next turn, but uh, might slow people up a bit if the AI is silly. Now it does seem like I should be I should be able to push north and defeat Githy and the Hell Guardian. Got to be careful with you. I don't want these um, units with skirmishing skills to come after you. At least, not really. they can now. But... Now here it seems like I should hold left and push north and take out Githy and the Hell Guardian. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, Malkasha. <laughs> it looks like he's quite close to an after maximum level advancement, but the facts tell a different story. blade and a slowing impact. Um, well then, first of all, oh. 
Uh, not the greatest performance I've ever seen from a Wraith, that's for sure. Especially not now that I'm going to need you to take out the Hell Guardian. That wasn't fantastic either. I can get around and attack my race, but these guys, I mean, these people are so rubbish, I don't need to worry about them. I would really very dearly like to take out these guys, but I think my first priority ought to be taking out this guy. Headhunters can wreak absolute havoc in the back of your lines. Defense there. I need to back off from this area and have them come out and attack me somewhere else. Like here. Even there is not fantastic, but I do need the gold. What are you going to do? You should probably go south and help on the more problematic front. As should you, for what good it will do. Having a bat down there. Should I run in and try and kill you? If you get if you kill me instead, which you could, then you'll get the level, and I don't want that to happen. So instead you're gonna retreat. Oh no, that's a retreat too far. <laughs> oh god. Nowhere safe, nowhere safe. You go there. Still not safe. Ah, oh, that's not safe. This isn't safe. Nowhere is safe. Oh. There, that's safe. <laughs> or at least safer than anywhere is can be can be said to be. Um, good. All right. I'm going to get attacked by at least you next turn. So I need someone who can defend against that. I think. Yeah, having the Dark Adept on the front line is best. You can go there, you can go here, or uh, maybe even here. And then the purple player is in a reasonably decent position. I want you to come south as well, I think. And maybe also you. Ghosts can move quite fast. we're managing to stall green very effectively and if we can win the battle on the left hand flank then maybe we can sweep down to him I'm, I'm much much more worried about the south and that was just stupid I don't know why you'd do that Oh. 
Good thing these dwarven guardsmen and stalwarts are actually good at their jobs. Demons and their endless numbers. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so Keshar, almost just another after maximum level advancement. Uh, your defense is more or less the same everywhere. can just get in here and if Alinea kills this demon it won't be able to level up but if she doesn't then it will so so it seems like I should first attack it with weaker units um, and hopefully if I just do one damage that will already increase the likelihood substantially so I'll try that <laughs> all right now I've got no great concerns about Alinea coming in here and uh, finishing them off why are you even fighting alongside us, Lich? Are the struggles of my people entertaining to you? Or perhaps you seek redemption, but I find that unlikely. Why do you want to know? Lord Galas and Aninde seem to consider you an equal, but in truth you are a menace to our lifestyle. Your mere existence would not have been tolerated in the past, and surely you remember that I was once tasked with the task of destroying you. The angry assailants over there seem really interested in chopping off your head, you know. Shouldn't you focus on the mission at hand instead of blabbering about your precious past like an elderly lady? Okay, this is this is my best spectre, so I would rather not throw it away. I'm wondering whether I should try and uh, whether I should first try and kill this guy. Probably should, I think. Got enough troops already up here to be fairly confident of the kill. So everyone else, long march south, I guess. 
I might have to use corpse wall tactics down this way. You go and grab another village, distract Green's troops. I don't want to completely block White from recruiting, but I'm also not too confident about White's combat abilities. South, head south, head south, head south. You should go over here and help out. Wipe up these creatures. You should head south. You should head south. <laughs> here we go. And I'll send you north just in case. No, I'll send you north just in case we need anyone else up there. But the rest of you can all head south. Alright, southern front. Um, not looking brilliant. Put Gallus on the front lines. Um, still, I feel like defending the ramparts is not a bad idea. You. No, you can't quite. I'd like, I'd like someone to go and kill this guy. You stay where you are and get help. Um, you can go there. Uh, this is not great. Um, Gas, you go on the bridge. I might have to. I think we're going to have to withdraw from these southernmost ramparts. You grab a house. Blue doesn't need them as much as I do. All right. Anyone else? No. Kill. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Alright, blue's on fire. Doesn't seem like the optimal defensive move, but what do I know? Oh, green. Ah, stupid invokers. Alright, purple leader is definitely sacrificing himself for the cause. for those invokers, they, um, yeah, get rid of defenders like nobody does.
Okay, first things first. Ah yes, excellent, Malkashar. You can plow straight into... I'm going to put you there for the time being, but you just go straight up there and do your thing. Almost a goner. I shall be avenged. And you shall be a spectre. And you shall all head south. Or more specifically, east. Because I want this squad, including Malkashar, to be able to wipe up the remnants. Can you get in? Not quite. Okay, so you head south to... Sothinia... Then on this flank, um, it's a matter of wiping up these remaining three units. Once again, Elenia, Elenia interestingly is quite close to a level, and I don't know what happens when she levels up. So that's going to be fun. But I'm going to have her take down Lorg of Dune. Great. Excellent. Not quite, but you will. And these two I can clear up. Okay, so the rem remnants of Teal have been completely expunged from the map, and it will soon be the case that there is no brown on the map either. And you could head south like everyone else. Meanwhile, over here, the wall of, uh, of zombies appears to be holding, at least for now. So, shall I let you have this? Yeah, if you want. And now you're almost dead, and I hope white will know what to do. If Does white get a turn before green? I think white gets a turn before green. Okay, you attack the invoker. Lovely. You grab that house. And now my income is looking pretty healthy. I'm gonna grab another house because the income at this point in the game might be crucial. You stay where you are. And I think, yeah. Alright, everyone else back the hell up. Except you. I want you to try and deal damage to this Chaos Magus. You're dead anyway, so... Might as well go out like a champ, like that. Good. You come here and defend. And then everyone else. Um, I'm a bit worried about you, uh, so... What about you? Can you reach down... Can they reach you if you go onto that house? This guy can. Well, that's okay. Once again, it's all about stalling at this stage. Galas take the bridge. This, fortunately, this central area 
Uh, I mean, these are, this is impassable water terrain. Um, you can only fight on the bridges, and so I think I can defend this. Even with a, a relatively limited array of troops. Go blue! Oh. No, no, no! You got yourself killed. Blue goes and grabs the village. I guess that's an understandable move. I've just nicked a bunch of his. No! Yes! Okay, so, um, <laughs> Purple Leader's still alive, just. White Leader is still fine, he's got one troop left. Um, Brown is almost eliminated from the map. He should be eliminated from the map, hopefully now. Oh, come on! Alright, you. No! <laughs> Um, in that case, rather than losing more skeletons up here, Elinia is just going to take matters into her own hands. Okay, I've got after maximum level advancements. Um, I can get more hit points, more melee damage. I can get a thorned, a thorns attack that drains. Range pierce 10 too, that seems a bit weak to be honest. Um, or I can just get plus 3 hit points, which is less good than the strength one. So I'm going to go for strength one. Alright, and then this flank should be easy. South, southwards, you too. Actually, can you go this way? You don't, well, you even have enough turns. Just about. Tempting to run in with Igor and kill these two, or at least one of them, but... And what I really, really would like to do is get rid of this annoying Zephyr that's just leveled up right in front of my ally. Uh, but first, but first... Oh no, I... <laughs> trying, to, trying to attack my ally there. Good play, George. Very good play. None of you can reach the Zephyr. And I want you to level. And I want you to head south. I do not much care about protecting the White Leader. The White Leader can die as far as I'm concerned. 
What I am going to do though is move Galas back because I want him to recruit some more units next turn. Death Knight can guard the bridge. You can guard this bridge. Now you are resistant against most things. Um, if someone comes with arcane damage, that will be annoying. I need to get a healer in there. My healers are all at the other end of the map. Uh, that wasn't too smart, was it? I thought you'd turn into a. I thought you'd turn into a zombie. Well, apparently not. Demons don't do that then. Okay. You though get the order blues houses. Again, keep that income flowing. Over here, I've got a ghost guarding this bridge. Got a, got zombies. Let me guard that bridge just in case. Um, you can also come into the centre. Are there any dogs coming? No, I don't see any dogs. That's good. Okay, I've got enough of a force to hold this central square, if not much else. The top end of the map's been mostly cleared. And then, yeah, see what happens. Go blue! Yes, kill, kill, kill! No kill. Yes! Come out and attack white leader. Defend white leader, I mean. Uh, that seems very pointless. But the orange player is the one that's doing the best right now. I think Orange Player also has quite a lot of houses. Alright, so it's just White Leader now, and uh, he's almost defenseless. Pur purple Leader is um, doing the brave thing and uh, doing Sir Robin. Down goes my Dark Adept. to run away. You're not even going to suicide if you fight the Magus, that's annoying. 
and you won't kill him and then might die and that would be frustrating is it worth it is there anything else I can do better play maybe but to put you there all right let's try this Tempting to run out here with my Berserk Marshal and, uh, and attack this Magus. But there are so many enemy units down here now. I do not think he would survive that. But instead, he's going to give experience to this ghost. Uh, over here. I think right now I need a tactical retreat from this flank. Zombies aren't actually going to be very useful at holding this central area. I mean, I was going to say they're just warm bodies. They're not. They're not warm at all. But I actually need tough units for this. So maybe it's time to just recall another couple of uh, bruisers. Quothad the Quick Prowler could be handy up here. And Milong, Milongil the Lich. Okay, so then here... You go for it, you go for it. You're almost useless, so you just go and get that house for me. You go as fast as you can towards the centre. And Galas, you want to end up there as well, really. I'm gonna have to be careful about this Zephyr. It can actually reach into the into the central area because it can fly over the water. Are there any other flying troops around? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, hopefully it will do something stupid that will get itself killed. You come down here and get healing. Alright. Yes! <laughs> nice work. Zephyr, not Zephyr. Ah, oh, Zephyr, our oh, crud. <laughs> Fundamentally, the Zephyr bollocks up all my defensive plans. Oh, 
All right, you go straight in there with magic. Because getting demons off walls is a bugger. Should I use my Berserk Elvish Marshal? Well, let's see. Let's get sort out the top side of the map first. I like how Elinia is just kind of. Yeah, she's just heading down. Um, this unit here is the only one that can reach up here, so I'm tempted to kill it with Althurin. We'll try to. There we go, and no one else can reach that far, other than the Zephyr. Uh, how, how resistant are you to fire? Surprisingly unresistant. Okay, you could be killed by a Zephyr attack, attack next turn. Yeah, I need to get you off here, because you're dealing so much damage. Well, then I can just put a zombie in front. Over here, no one's quite fast enough to be able to do anything. Other than the spectre, and it here. This is my best spectre. It's the one I don't want to lose. Can this zombie do damage against the, the against the Zephyr? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. And there aren't that many green units here, so I'm going to risk my my spectre elite. Ah, uh, but it's not just... It's not quite just the Zephyr. And if you attack a Spectre, then you'll level. Zephyr on this side. I'd like to be able to get rid of this one too, but beggars can't be choosers. They're skirmishers as well, so I can't stop them from going where they want to go. Still, Althurin ought to have decent defense up here. Alright, Lich. Kill it, it's gonna level. And it's gonna level anyway if it attacks <laughs> if it attacks here. Oh dear. This is a really I mean this is yeah. This is just a nightmare situation really. And these guys can't get in. Well Kashar can't get in. Let's see if the blue player can maybe kill this guy. That would be the op optimal solution here. Um, one of these could manage it. Or, yeah. Okay, you head into the middle. And you, Gallus, we don't need you to guard the walls just yet, so... Right. 
and now this scenario is getting more like the defensive scenario it was intended to be. Please don't kill Althurin. Oh, good work. Oh, not so good work. Okay. That guy's got his level. players even got a recruit in. Okay, so... The most crucial thing over here is to try and starve the green player of his income so that he can't recruit more dudes. No, no one can reach you. And actually, blue and yellow, blue, blue and um, blue and green, uh, sorry, blue and white, have pretty much got this. They've got a lot of troops out here, so I should turn to a different flank and see if I can help there. Well, it's a shame that Gallus is a little bit too far away to get back to his home in one turn. Recruit more units. There will be more. You come down here. We're guarding that bridge now. You get this house. You stand on that turret. defense. Um, really the big question here, other than what to do with that huge clusterfuck down there, is what to do with Galas. Because Galas could come in and help out here. Wouldn't be hugely effective. Seems more likely that a better action to take would be to go back to base. Get ready to do some more recruiting. Okay, and then it looks, I think, if blue and white and me collaborate, we should be able to get green out of the picture as well by, by the end of turns. Um, black and orange are going to be more of a threat. I'm not going to be able to take them out. What I can do is... Keep shooting! <laughs> and one good thing is, if the enemy players put weak units on the bridges, they're generally not smart enough to move them backwards, so it's actually not a bad thing for some weak units to be there. Um, 
gonna move you back because you've done. Oh no, let's let this zombie. Uh, uh. Oh yeah. You go there. And you block. Kill! No, not quite kill. Alright. I think I ought to be able to hold here. Yeah, I hope you're having a nice holiday. Mr. Stalwart, who's uh, many turns away from the battle. You did help me out, I'll give you that. <coughs> nice work. Green's frontline troops have been completely decimated. Malkashar is getting pretty beaten up. Where are you actually going, Mal? Well, you're going to take out this invader, and if... <laughs> If the green leader wants to come out and attack my spectre, which he might, then it will be in an extremely vulnerable position. Of course, what I haven't done is actually killed this unit, which is a shame. campaign I would be concerned here about gold carryover, but there isn't any gold carryover from this scenario, so Galas might as well just recruit what he can. Now we've got here we've got a Zephyr on the walls, um, and it's trying to kill my ghosts. I'd like to stop that from happening. And well, the best way of doing that is to zap it with Anlande. Are there any dogs incoming? No, there is one. <laughs> I'm so scared of those dogs. Ah, oh, damn it. Should I go around with a ghost? Should I go around with a ghost and finish it? Oh, let's try it. 
Do I have another ghost to spare? Yes, but it will get attacked from this side. Um, this weakened ghost can get it then. I don't want you leveling. And it looks like the enemies actually, their strength is flagging a bit at this point. Let's recall a few other good troops, shall we? You, maybe you can even get a level. So Thad, you're the one with the poison bow, yeah. Nah, nah. Just have ghosts. Can't go too far wrong with ghosts. Ghost and an archer. Alright, and then continue to hold the center, continue to try and take out green. There's a lot of these guys coming up, I don't like that. Orange is the orange is the threat here. Oh, oh not another Zephyr. You're gonna be kidding me. My green player mysteriously just got a sudden injection of resources. Oh okay. Purple leader is taking one for the team. Okay, the strategy here is not as clear as I thought it was. Because if I go in, probably won't kill him, probably will die, and there's some of my best units here. Still, I mean, these are spectres. Yeah, they say discretion is the better part of valor, but these are not units that are great at damaging spectres. And if I can get some decent hits in, I'll do some draining. So yeah, let's have it. Three out of four hits would finish this. I don't, I don't expect to get that, but. You go down here. I'm going to starve you for resources completely. And over here, come in with these wraiths and this ghost. This skeleton archer, though, just needs to come and support the defensive. Malkashar, I guess you should just stay there for a turn. Don't like it, don't like the fact that there's another Zephyr. Ugh. Q 
Can I defend down here with Anlinde? Is that wise? Save this guy's life. And if you turn into a shadow now, you'll be invisible. So that might be handy. All our main heroes, apart from Malkashar, defending this central area. Only a few more turns to go. And up here, probably lose a spectre, maybe two. But as they say in Lost, it's a sacrifice the island demanded. Whatever that means. <laughs> Don't beat on the Lady of Light. I didn't realise that unit was on a house, actually. for purple leader if he doesn't get killed by a doggy which he didn't that would have been embarrassing but he's still gonna try or oh, give me my king again a curse upon you heretics now of these remaining units the one that's most likely to kill a spectre is the is really the demon because it's got fire attacks um, so yeah Yes, that's another bone shooter.
Now who should I choose here? There's so many of these irritating high-level magic user characters. I feel like one of these ought to be... So first of all, you need to step back, because you're not doing yourself any favours getting beaten up like that. Helen, um... I'm Linde. Okay, this Frank... This flank is looking relatively good. You'll do a lot of damage, you could get killed, that's actually fine at this stage I think. You actually would have been better if you had been killed, but uh, that's a shame, um, but we can put that aside. Then over here, tempting to come out and... I mean, actually there are so few units left that actually coming out and doing some damage is not such a bad idea. Um, Mill on Gil the Lich might be able to... That was perfection itself. Thank you, Mill on Gil the Lich. Here I would rather have a guaranteed kill, I think. Because I've got no ghosts in the vicinity to jump around and help me out. Um, and the person for guaranteed kills is very definitely Fellow the Elvish Marshal. <coughs> and then that's just you. There's a demon uh, down here, there are not so many strong units. So at the moment, uh, and I think you should probably back up. Now... You can come up here and help with this cleanup effort. Hope no spectres will be killed. And I think you guys now, if you want to go and take on Malka Shah, be my guest. I'm going to put you in the middle so that you don't get any good defences. And as for you... You'll take a lot of damage if you do that. So you also can come up here and back up Malkesha in wiping out green. Whew, okay, do we need Galas here? I don't think we really do. Galas can grab a house. No, there's, there's no point. I'm not going to be recruiting any more units this scenario. I'm going to put Galas right in the middle here so he can defend the boss. First things first, top right corner. Here my Spectre is still alive. And no one's gone for Malkashar yet, so maybe he will go for them. Oh. 
This one's tough. Can't actually kill my, my spectre. My spectre can eventually kill it. And you can grab this house because the white player is not going to be germane to our discussions anymore. Well, having said that, he did just deal a ton of damage to this Knight of Chaos, so that's nice. Okay, and you level up. That's good. We got more units, we got a Zephyr. Um, now I think the play here on this flank is to use Philor to take out this Magus guaranteed. Well, I say guaranteed. <laughs> Does have to get at least more hits than the guy with the stick. And then to prevent Philor from being killed in return, you're gonna need to put a couple of units in front of him. But that's fine. Right, 100% need to kill this. You guys just back up. Just back up. Center. We can put well, let's see. We'll back up, back up, step forward, kill. <laughs> And you step forward as well. <coughs> Gotta love that drain ability. And then if we put Mel Milongil over here, then Milongil will block the path. Zephyr can't reach her, only these three can, and they shouldn't be able to kill her. At least, I don't think so. Not with that defence. And even if they do, it's not the worst thing in the world. Is the end of the campaign. Noble sacrifices are the order of the day. You can hop out, actually, and uh, grab me a, a village. Okay. I think that's everything. <coughs> oh, thanks! <coughs> I love this poor guy. He has marched down from the top of the map and immediately got half his health taken off him in a single turn of combat. believe the white general is still alive. That's really pretty good going. It's white privilege. Yeah, I know, I'll get my coat.
All right, these archers are just kind of having fun at this point. And let's help out our friends. Dog's not nearly in range. What I want to know is whether I can wail on this Chaos Invader with impunity, and I think the answer is yes. Ah, that's a shame. dog. It's not close, it's not strong. Well, it is strong, it's quick and strong, but it's not super powerful. So, I think I can take that, and this remaining ghost is going to come back to base. Yeah, and last couple of turns, the, uh, the orange player is going to be the biggest threat, because these black units are pretty weak. <laughs> oh, not you, Anail. Yeah, there's no way you're going to survive this. <laughs> You did a great job of distracting four black units. Stupid dog. Kill! Yes! Hug. threat is. Nice one. Don't know why I'm grabbing those villages now. It's not like they're going to make a huge difference at this stage of the game. Okay, I've got this flank mostly mopped up. Um, over here, I think I want to retreat back into the center. Good undead units can uh, can go into deep water. That's also a handy feature of theirs. They can submerge. No more dogs around other than this one, um, and it's going to go for blue or white, so that's fine. It would be nice if I could kill you. Ah, oh, it was not to be. So, fellow, you head back. You head back as well. So can you go a bit further so that you can go there? You can guard the entrance. Oh, hello! 
<laughs> Meet this ghost I just recruited at the end of the game. Alright, fingers crossed that we've got this, and we're going to click end turn for the final time in part one of Invasion from the Unknown. Oh, this ghost's a beast. It's not going to survive, but... Gave your life not once, but twice for the team. What a ghost. And you can get rid of my level 1 skeletons, but it will not avail you in the long term, black player. What about you, orange player? What's your final play? These persistent earthworms won't forfeit as easily as the other clans did, it seems. Time to execute the backup plan, everyone. Retreat. The enemy troops are retreating. This doesn't sound good, lad. They must be preparing to retaliate. The way they fight, I doubt we've seen even an air of their assault force. I ought to admit that we gravely underestimated the threat posed by the Chaos Empire. Our losses have been too great. <sighs> At this point, I say we must leave. May have our kin to the northwest would allow us to regroup there. So, Hearthgar has fallen. Didn't say that. Sure, our home have fallen, but Hearthgar is much more than just stone and marble. We'll figure out something later. And as much as it troubles me to think about it, the northern humans will have to deal with these bloodthirsty barbarians somehow. I can that will be their next move, I. Most of our people went north. It is worrying that we haven't heard anything of them even ever since we parted ways, but assuming that nothing bad has occurred to them, we need to warn them of this development quickly. How prepared are the northerners to deal with an invasion from the Chaos Empire, King Astogar? Do you think they would be able to defend the far north with the elves and dwarves' aid? Dwarves, elves, and humans united under a single banner? I find that highly improbable, class. I can't have been thousands of years since the last alliance, and it didn't turn out very well in the end. And in any case, we have our own battles to fight here. I can the humans will do well on their own, as long as they aren't caught unprepared. But... We will warn them and seek their help regardless. We can't keep running away from the enemy like rats. There has to be some way to stop them before there is no more land left on the continent for us. My king, do you really think we can vacate Elfgar before the demons return? We must at least try. I fear we do not have a choice at this point. King, if you attempt to evacuate, it is quite likely that the enemy forces will manage to sneak up on your people from behind and perpetrate yet another slaughter. But there is a simple solution to this quandary. I believe Malkishar could lend me his minions to aid in setting up an ambush to keep the enemy from advancing. What? But... And Linde, you can't possibly fend off those fiends alone. Odds are you won't be able to get back to us. Don't do the same as Lord Ledenhoff, please. Our Lady of Light once said there are things more important in this world than the lives of a few. For me, the safety of our people is far more important than my own. And as you already know, I have a debt to repay. Our past will never cease to haunt me, and I certainly will never be able to repair the great damage we caused back then. But if I am going to die, I would prefer it to be for your sake. If the circumstances hadn't conspired against it, I would have done it back in the valley instead of Ledinor. But you were too young, and I first had to make sure you were ready. Since then, you have proven yourself to be a fierce warrior and a capable leader, Gallus. I'm proud of you. This is insane. What purpose does it serve to throw your life away like this? 
Let Malkeshar dispatch his minions. There is absolutely no need for you to get involved. And leave them to be quickly disposed of by the enemy? We cannot afford such a risk right now, Gallus. Your survival, you are far more important. There is a much greater foe hiding in these caves, and sooner or later he will catch up with us, and Alinea is in no condition to fight anyone. What? But I... I have seen your performance in this battle, my lady, and I regret saying this, but I saw you do far better in Wesmere. It's plainly evident that you have been dormant for too long. About my words, it is not necessary to take them to heart. And Lindy, we will need all available spellcasters on the front line if our plans come to fruition. The ill-gotten power you wield is far superior than the norm for our kin, and combined with the might of the undead, it could offer us an unprecedented tactical advantage. Or may I persuade you to reconsider? You cannot. I feel that my mission and my fate lies here, in the very heart of Erdia. Allow me to protect Elvenkind a last time, my lady. I shall obliterate every demon, every cultist, and every dark soldier who dares to approach this keep. And even if it is to be with my dying breath, I shall vanquish their warlord and turn fate in our favour. You have lived for so long, and you have seen so much, so many things that were never even recorded in books. I don't understand why. Why do you want it to end like this? Picture living for thousands of years, knowing it was only made possible by the suffering and death of millions of innocent souls. Eternal life becomes a disillusioning burden as time passes by, and you see, you see everything turn to dust, and then your memories begin to fade away as well. You eventually forget all positive experiences, and can only recall the horrors that haunt you in your sleep. At least none of you will have to live with the knowledge that you were accomplices of the evil that brought Elvenkind to its knees. So be it. Your sacrifice won't be forgotten, and I swear that I will not rest until the last of our enemies is reduced to cinders on the ground. May the Lords of Light guide you in your last mission. After that exchange, I stayed behind in the Dwarven throne room and talked to Anlinde a last time before bidding her farewell. She had always been there to guide me since my father's death. Even now, at the premature end of our journey together, she imparted her wisdom to me. She spoke of our past leaders and the sacrifices they had to make for the sake of others, the great losses suffered by Telkior's people before finding the valley, the pact with Jangor, the story of Kalens and Landar, the betrayal of the humans and the war with the orcs. But I could barely retain any of that, for my heart was too fraught with grief to pay heed to her words. Once we had nothing more left to say, I left the room, only to find a pair of dispassionate amber orbs waiting behind the doors. I did my best to ignore Lady Alinea and continued ahead, hoping her eyes did not spy the tears in my own. Even though Anne Linde had kept such dark secrets from me all these years, I could not resent her. First Malkeshar, and then Anne Linde. Perhaps I am too easily forgiving to be the kind of leader Ledinor and Anne Linde expected. Will this never end? How many more will have to give up their lives to protect the rest of us from the Chaos Empire and the demons of Uriah? I longed for the return of peace. I desperately wanted to get away from the incessant strife and bloodshed and find a new home in one of the remaining forests, or even the underground. I was absorbed in those foolish thoughts when, suddenly, reason came back to me. And then I knew what ought to be my final mission. Sorry, I, then I knew what ought to be my next mission. Because even in the deep darkness of Erdia's fractured heart, we still had the guidance of the Lady of Light and our hope on our side. And I knew there had to be a way to throw the Empire into utter disarray, so it would wither and die like its predecessor did. Okay, we're into scenario 12, the escape. I'm just going to do the opening voice acting and then I'm going to leave it. The exit to the north. But before we proceed, I must warn you, it had been long since we last walked these caves, 
so we should be prepared to deal with anything that might be awaiting down the road. Such as an unexpected encounter with Chaos troops? We are accustomed to that kind of thing after our quest underground. We must make haste, though. We don't know for how long Anne Linde's strategy is going to work and provide us with safe passage. Indeed, I would be unable to bear the thought of her sacrifice turning out to be in vain after so much. Mm. I sure hope she has put my minions to good use. i would grown fond of some of them. Ah, well, there will be plenty of opportunities to raise more later. Okay. And with that, I am going to pause and we'll pick it up again next time for what is actually the final scenario of part one, the escape.